Why is everybody being so mean to these Asian streamers in public? Is it because publicly streaming is a little annoying? Or is it more likely that these people always wanted to bother an Asian person, they're taking this opportunity to, and they think they're not gonna suffer any sort of consequences? Let's get into the first clip. All right, so our first clip is from Extra Emily. She is live streaming in a McDonald's in Times Square, New York City. Sent. Hi fans, we're here from California. Some Chinese, Japanese, I don't know, some type of shit. But yay, I'm from California. Damn, you can see the exact moment where Extra Emily's like heart breaks and is like, damn, I'm being trolled right now. I thought I had a friend from California come in to join me in this McDonald's Times Square. And she's like, yay, foreigner friends on my live stream. And she's like, yeah, I mean, I guess whatever. I'm on this Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Yeah. Bye. Uh, clearly, uh, condescending tone even though she didn't say anything super overtly racist but definitely it is disrespectful and uh, you got to give it to Emily because this one kind of kind of comes out of nowhere because she seems friendly and then it goes for a dark turn but you know this isn't going to be the last time we see a clip from Times Square on a scale of one to ten level racism I only give this a three but I think it's just the shock the push and the pull from it rocked extra Emily damn right at this freeze frame you see Emily's face realize that girl actually didn't really like Asians. <laughs> yeah. I heard that this girl actually graduated from Columbia and Ivy League University and quit investment banking because she made more money Twitch streaming. Well, yeah, keep on twitching. All right, number two, our second clip is Joey Cow in France. Let's see what happens. The Live, live the Nico, Live the Vico. Yeah, this is the Live the Vico Nog Nogno Arc chat. Wow. He realizes. What'd you say? No, don't go away. What'd you say? Why are you walking away? Ching Chong what? Ching Chong what? Oh, you scared, huh? That's what I thought. Next time you say that to an Asian guy, make sure you remember this moment, bro. That's right. You make people look bad in France. Oh, man. Hey, he took it there. Yo, I got to give a shout out to Joey Cow because I know that he is big on confronting people who say racist things to him. I believe he's from America, but he lives in Taiwan. I will say this, though, when he said, yeah, remember this moment, he did kind of say it like he was standing over him after he just knocked him out. Uh I, yeah, I would say shout out to Joey for confronting people. Obviously, following people very closely and following a stranger for a long time could be dangerous. But of course, you know, it, it didn't turn out like that way. But I do think people do need to yell and confront these people who yell these things because how else are they going to know? Maybe maybe this guy in France is going to think twice before saying ching chong to another Asian yeah, person. Yeah, because I think a lot of people know in their heart that what they're saying is racist and wrong, but they just think they're going to get away with it. So when a person turns around with like a 4K live stream, you know, iPhone 14, people get like, oh, oh my, this is going to affect my future career prospects. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, listen, he got his ching chong in, his racist remark, and then Joey got his in and said, you make France look bad. So hopefully that sticks with this dude. All right, clip number three. This is once again, the worldwide Joey Cow, but I think he's in downtown LA this time. Y'all wowing. That's very funny in 2021, sir. Get him, Joey, get him. Yo, I was like, that was kind of funny. You kind of had me there. But just saying, it's not funny to be kind of racist in 2021, all right? Get that shit out of here, bro. Okay, shout out to Joey once again for confronting people because I think that not everybody has the, the balls to immediately react like that because sometimes when something racist happens to you, it kind of shocks you. But, but then I did think it was weird that Joey was like, hey, 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 bro, that was kind of funny. It was funny. I... I but it wasn't that funny. Yeah, I think there's a couple weird things about this clip. By the way, still shout out to Joey Cow yes, for pursuing him because these can be dangerous interactions. I will say this. It was weird because when he went up to the guy, the guy looks Asian behind the mask. I actually think he's Latino, but he happens to be one of those Latinos that like looks really Asian. Right, right, right. <laughs> I was like, yo, why would an Asian guy say that? Also, the point number two is that why did the guy go, ding, dang, wang, dang, dang, ah, arigato. So yeah. he was mixing the fake Chinese impersonation was actually arigato, which is a thank you in actual real Japanese language. And then, like you said to this third point, Andrew, because the security guard's right there, and I think he sees this guy as 
I don't know, potentially also dangerous too. You're kind of a street dude, yeah. Yeah, that's why he tries to kind of hedge yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I, I think it's weird when you're going to hear racist remarks but act with actual Asian words mixed into it. So uh, we're going to see this again. It's interesting. All right, so clip number four, we got Variety Girl. She is at a restaurant somewhere in America. All right, so the guy has not done anything illegal, but this video is just creepy because it's a guy with a stroller, right? But you clearly can't see the baby. I'm going to go ahead and assume there's a baby in there, not like Pomeranians. And then he's going ahead and making this almost like groping motion. I don't want to say it's like right on her breast, but it looks like he could be doing something that could be almost viewed as sexual harassment. Most certainly he is violating her personal bubble just because your streaming does not give anybody the right to violate your bubble there's people in america depending on where you're at you can get knocked out for doing this i mean listen this guy has a baby in the stroller and he's trying to harass an asian girl right now and interrupt her and make some type of weird motion that's it's not cool but you know what there are more clips let's check it out all right this is the next clip same restaurant maybe try a different stream strategy hey hey um what's going on girl no what's happening no, no. Yo, oh, no, this guy I came out of like 1983. It was almost like Biff Yo, this from like, uh, you know, the <laughs> Back to the Future, but just like even possibly creepier. Like, I, I, I'm not a fan of like, all right, first, it, it doesn't regardless if she's Asian, if he's white and whatever, like no matter the race, you probably shouldn't be just annoying a young Asian woman, like a, a young woman like this, really like, there's, it's wrong. All right, next clip. Stop, stop doing that all right so clearly she has already told you to stop and get out of her space and you keep doing it that is harassment this dude should get kicked out of the restaurant and honestly man he could, he should get slapped in the face i definitely think that he was possibly drunk um it's crazy the fact that he was i'm assuming pushing his own baby and then he's still kind of acting like he's the star high school quarterback and he's about 16 or 17 years old and this is just like a little cute asian girl that like nobody knows at school yeah. but here's the thing if you act like you're like the star quarterback and everybody's in high school together but you're an actually an adult you could be actually uh, deserve to get beat up. Dude, it's super juvenile. This is like when the school bully walks past you on your desk and just goes <laughs> with your papers and then just- No, like, like I said, the there, thing. there's things that are acceptable when you're 14, 15, 16, even though they're still frowned upon, they're like within the range of like logical outcomes that as an adult, uh, you can get fired and lose your job over. For some reason, it feels like when people see an Asian out in public just doing their thing, it makes people want to mess with them in the most immature way possible. Obviously, I think the fact that he's highly attractive, uh, attracted to this girl is playing an aspect of like, almost like a fifth grader, grader trying to flirt. Mm. You know, it's like you like uh, mess with the girl that you like, but you don't yeah. know how to express it and you're insecure and you're trying to express yourself. Dude, next time you have these thoughts, just stop. Yo, Stop. somebody find this guy and like hit up his employer on LinkedIn. All right, so the fifth clip is from Giga Joe. He is also in Times Square streaming. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> okay, let's run it back. She said it right at the beginning. She goes. Dude, she goes, and it's crazy because she goes on for like maybe two seconds longer than you would think. So she's like almost like just saying it into the tunnel. David, is it weird to hear people mix in real Asian words? Like at some point, someone's going to know enough Chinese and it's going to be like, and then it's just like, you're just like, damn, yo, you're like kind of speaking it, but like, I know you mean it in a racist condescending way. Yeah, I would say the top like words that non-Asians know, it goes like, ni hao, konnichiwa. And I think a lot of like K-pop fans actually know annyeong or annyeonghaseyo, but they never say it in a racist way. Whenever, whenever I see an Asian face, I just feel like spilling out any type of Asian phrase that I know, just <laughs> Or the ni hao. <laughs> All right, I will say there's this one funny thing that uh, Giga Joe says after this, his response. I don't think he takes it too personal, but here. You guys are on camera. I'm posting on YouTube. I got 800k stuff. <laughs> he did, he, he, he kind of ended off the interaction in, in a playful, hey. 
I got almost a million subs, man. You're going to be seen. He has a lower voice than I thought. Hey, what's the matter with you, man? <laughs> huh? That's why he's a streamer. He's got a cool voice. Yeah, man. it does have a cool voice. All right, so clip number six is of Jenny Lee. She is an international streamer, and she is in Germany right now. I think she lives in Germany. Mm. <laughs> Having a nice uh, Hi. Wiener schnitzel. Oh. Ah, uh, come to it. I go in. I go in. I go in. I go in. Hi. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 literally telling you to stop. Okay. Where is that? So do they stop? I know. I'm a good person. I think you need me. I need me. Hey, that, that's racist. I love Germany. Don't be, don't become racist, please. That's crazy right here. He that's looks, at, right he here. looks right at her. A lot of people. Honestly, all right. All right man, you got to get that freeze frame right here to oh look at someone right there. Gosh, that... He, he, the last second, he still wants to do it. He's like, ah, ah, what, what? I mean, I heard that this is in Munich, Germany. I don't know much about, like, different cities in Europe, but I heard that that one's a little bit more of, like, a ratchet city. That's what someone told me. Listen, I, these people are racist just like any other person can be. I do think that in Europe, and this is after meeting a lot of Europeans, that... Um, they do have a different relationship with racism. I feel like sometimes they think they're a little less sensitive to it. So they feel like, oh, you know, I can talk crap, you know, don't worry. I don't mean in a bad way and won't hurt you. I'm just like making fun of your face. You know, that's a French accent, but there, there's some French guys later in this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, long story short, yeah, they have a different relationship with it. They'll be like, I did not hurt you. I did not hurt yeah. you. It's not that big of a deal. No, but it's clearly disrespectful. Racist. I mean, it kind of reminds me of when the Spain national basketball team that had Paul Gasol and Mark Gasol on it, Andrew, did, and the, I, they did, the, they did the eye thing when they went to Beijing for the Olympics in 08. And it was crazy because you're like, whoa, that's a whole Olympic team. But they, you know what they were saying? They was like, yeah, we were just trying to make our eyes like the host country's eyes. That's what they, I think that's, that was one of the comments. Listen, I just think two older, larger, grown men to bother a girl like this. Any girl that's telling you, hey, stop it. Even if it's a playful stop, she's like, hey, stop it, stop it. I'm just trying to chill. Like, that is just harassment, and then you're just uh, being stupid. Obviously, in America, I think even the people around him would have had a different reaction. I think, like, depending on where you are, like, you can get kicked out of an establishment for acting like this. Or, like you said, depends on who you're around, you get beat up for acting like this. All right, seventh clip is from Cook Sucks. He's out in Hawaii. What's up? How's it going, man? The camera don't show up on me. What's up? Smack this shit out. That's what's up. You understand? Wait, you came up to me, man. I'm telling you, but do you know Yeah, man, you don't have to come into my you space. Hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Put that child up, take her back, or I'm gonna fuck you up. Excuse me? You heard me, bitch. No, what'd you say? Wait, why you gotta take the child back? Take what child back? Why you gotta talk to me like that, bro? No, no, we're not following you. Why? We're minding our own business, dude. Baruch just gifted 20. All right, so uh, they are minding their own business. Um, I guess what this dude who was pressing them, the aggressive dude who I do think has probably mental issues, uh, I guess he was trying to accuse the girl of looking too young and then thinking that since he kind of has some white hair that they can't be possibly in an actual relationship with each other, which they are, of course, is there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, but that was, I guess, his goal, but basically came off as uh, pretty racist. Yeah, mentally disturbed. The eighth clip takes place in France. Again, a uh, group of gentlemen uh, probably harassing a group of women. Older no. gentlemen, yeah. Yes, older gentlemen, true. <laughs> Looks like this guy's like apologizing based on body language. Okay, so I believe what happened, and I actually had a French person translate this for me, is uh, the guys are trying to hit on the girls. Mm -hmm. The girls politely decline. They're like, oh, we have, we're busy later. Thank you. Thank you for the offer. But I decline. And the guy goes, whatever. I don't like Asians anyway. Yeah. Um, and then the guy in the red kind of tries to be like, I, I don't mind my friend and his comments. Uh, sorry about that. 
Um, yeah, it's always funny when the friend always tries to apologize for their racist friend instead of telling their friend at that moment, you know? Like, I, like do you think it makes up for it? Uh, you know what I've been noticing is a lot of the guys, especially that have been hitting on the girls, Andrew, look like they're under the influence of either, like, drugs or alcohol. Yeah, they probably are. I mean, that's no excuse, but yes... Let's just say alcohol can make you do some very stupid things. And I'll tell you this, alcohol pretty much makes you want to act on your stupidest thoughts. So when you have stupid thoughts already, you know, usually and you're sober, there's something in your brain that tells you, okay, don't do that. Yeah, that's rude. I shouldn't do that. I know how that's yeah. going to be viewed. But then when you're drunk, all that drops and then you just go and And I think the Asian aspect comes into play in the sense that if you were to approach like white, black, or Latina women this way, you might have more fear about being told off in a more negative way or the guys that they're with potentially, um, you know, coming down on you a lot harder. Obviously, when it's Asian, you, you have two uh, lack of two fears, lack of fear of the girl and of their men. All right, so for our ninth clip, we have a streamer that is out in Toronto at a Chick-fil-A. How are you? Good. From India. Okay. I'm saying no. What? Let's hang out. Why? Because I'm from India. Because you're from India, we should hang out? Yeah, I'm wearing women's clothing. Okay. You want to hang out? At nine dollars so we could go somewhere else and eat instead of chicken plate. No. Go to our restaurant. Thank you. Okay. What? <laughs> Yo, that was... I don't know... Yo, that dude was clearly like, you know, on something, on some substance. But that was just a very weird conversation. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. I mean, he didn't well, say kinda, I mean, let's be honest. It, it was funny. It was funny and creepy. Obviously, <laughs> he didn't say anything super outwardly racist. But I do think he's approaching her because he th he thinks that she's just a cute Asian girl who's submissive, soft, probably not going to yell back at him, you know. Yeah. No, he had the, uh, I'm from India. Let's hang out. Let's hang out. Dude, he had a weird, like, what a pitch. $99, we can go somewhere. I'm wearing women's clothes. Like, he thought, yo, I'm wearing women's clothes. That's that's gonna entice her. I will say this. He, he sounds like he's, like, maybe not even from a super uneducated background, but he maybe just got addicted to substances yeah. because he did lay out some sort of uh, plan. But then, obviously, she rejected the plan. So... Anyway, he was the wrong man with the plan. You know, okay. it's really interesting because this is Toronto. There's actually so many Daisy people around. There's actually a Punjabi Sikh guy in the background. He's yeah. kind of like looking at him, like he like he was about to protect her if he was getting if he was getting too crazy. Yeah, there was this Sikh guy after the after the dude walks away. He kind of looks over and is like, "Damn, man, why'd you do that?" Well, he's probably like, "Man, why are you you're making us look bad?" Like, <laughs> our tenth clip is actually a compilation of Jeannie Lee uh, back with Jeannie Lee and she. Uh, and I think she's back in Munich. She always tends to go through something, man. Yeah. That's tough, man. Yeah, I, like, I have to apologize on behalf right. of everybody in Munich. Listen. Like, it's not everybody, okay? Just because you have these instances that happen to be captured on the live oh. stream, it doesn't mean that it's everybody on ya. Yeah. Listen, live streaming in Times Square, New York, in Germany, apparently. That, those are the danger zones. No, yeah. yeah. Those no, are mid, the no, no, Andrew, interaction mid central. Midtown in Munich. What? Yeah, she made the sound effect and everything. Douche. Dude, shoot the fake punch. That was super disrespectful. She almost hit me, right? Hello. Ching Chong, Yo, he went with the three Ching Chongs. Yeah. Where are you from? Well, he has a drink in his hand. Clearly, he's he's probably under the influence. But I, I don't doubt that these people aren't thinking this when they're sober, obviously. Jupe jeans. Get out of here. No, oh, Jupe is one of those fragrances they try to sell you on Canal Street. You know what's funny about this guy, man? He didn't even think what he said was that bad. He's just like, oh, yeah, are you good? Okay, yeah, I'm just messing around, right? But, you know, like I said, I don't know. They just think differently, but honestly, that's no excuse, That was man. super ignorant. Sorry, I, I will not. <laughs> Dang. And then Dang, someone hit her camera. Dude, why do you have to hit her camera? Like, literally, she's not even filming you. She's not even walking in your direction. Like, I would even, like, I don't know. Just people want to mess with Asians with cameras, man. I'll tell you this. When you're out in these cities, walking around downtown, you have a big selfie stick out, you're talking, and people see you doing something, honestly, it does attract, like, some of the worst energy. I will say more than 50% of the people who want to interact with you are going to do it in a negative way. Most likely, the people who want to respect you are actually gonna just going to leave you alone.
All right, number 11, we got Jade Yan. She is confronted by some racist strangers during a live stream. I think this is in Frankfurt, I believe, and they're all Vietnamese Germans. I know your age, but which part? We all are Vietnamese. She's... Huh? Yeah, my Okay, she's... From there, she's... Ching Chang Chong. Chang Chong. Ping Pong. What's your name? Uh, what's the name from? What's the name? What? Hold up. He says Ching Chang Chong Ping Pong. Hey, what's your name? What kind of pickup line is that, Yo, man? and he bit the line like that was just the end of a punchline uh, bar. Yeah. He said Ching Chang Chong Ping Pong. Hi. Oh, yeah, man. And he looks ethnic himself, like possibly, you know. He kind of actually looks like a more, at least Middle East, a more normal, normal version of Beetlejuice, actually, this one dude, anyway. Like, why do you say you're fucking racist? Yes, fucking racist. What the fuck is going on? So this guy started to be like, uh, my friend is just uh, trying to make funny. And to make funny, you we can uh, make flirting conversation. Let me tell you this, guys. If the only funny thing that can come to mind is Ching Chang Chong, you are an idiot. Yeah. Like, what, what was the point? Like, you could have just said hi, but you had to say Ching Chang Chong. Funny, funny. It's, it's not funny. Funny, funny. It's funny. funny. I'm it's trying to be funny. funny. No, he's like really trying to reason. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, it's a joke. Cause you know, Ching Chang Chong, it's like a uh, funny, that's the punchline, it's the ping pong. You know, it's the ping pong. It's not funny? It's, it's not, not funny. funny. What? But why is it funny to say like Ching Chang Chong? But he, he means only uh, funny. He wants it's to, not uh, funny. funny. Hey, he's funny because uh, it's it's racist. It's racist. That's why it's funny. Hey, it's racist. Okay. Okay. No yeah. problem. Fine. Yes. Yeah. What? Fuck. Damn. Yeah. Bro. All right. This guy's a complete. I, there's words I can't even say on YouTube. I right mean, now. long story short, I just think that a lot of dudes, though, they do really act poorly when they're like trying to flirt with the girl, right? But they're not also fully respecting her race. So I'm sure these guys are respecting their attraction to her, right? And the second they feel like there's a rejection or they've already been pre-rejected, they're going to slip into some way to diss her. I mean, that is a classic, I guess, I don't want to use the term, like toxic male, you know, like yeah. I got rejected reaction. For sure. Listen to me, guys. Like all these a-holes that are doing this, like these idiots who are acting like this, like... Tell me if there was ever a time when you opened up with that line and it actually led to something positive. I guess it would, the classic would be like, oh, girl, you're so cute. I love Asians. Oh, I'm rejected. F Asians. Man, I never yeah. like John women. All right, 12th clip is from Ginny TTY. Okay. Because I, I, I was wandering around and I couldn't Can find something. Hey. She, just, she was like, she, she was like literally asking for directions, and then this person. Because I was, I was, I was wandering around, and I couldn't find something. He went with that ching chang chong hey. And it was interesting because I guess if I had to analyze this one, Ching Chang Chong, obviously back to the Chinese mocking, right? right. But the hey, I almost feel like that was more driven by Korean, because in Korean you hear a lot more ne. I'm Either just saying way. that nowadays it's interesting because the racism is mixed, right? There's some real words or real like rhyming expressions that are slipped in there. Sort of like we've seen the arigato, the ni hao, the he, ne, uh, but it's still all racist. But I, I guess in a way um, there's more real words slipped in there, possibly. You know what's so weird is like this girl's like kind of asking for directions or she's like, yeah, I'm just walking around trying to figure things out. And then he goes, ching, 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 ching. it's almost like if a French person was in New York, it was like, oh, excuse me, uh, can you help me with some directions? And I said, ah, so just out of nowhere. And then no, but then you'd have to follow it up with some French gibberish. Yeah. Cause suck bleu is a really good And then like, and then, and then the French person would be looking at me like, oh, why are you doing it? What are you doing? Like our last one is a racist attack on an Asian Twitch streamer. I believe this is happening in Canada. Yeah, I know you feel me to fucking hook your ass. Give me this hooker, eh? Huh? What? What? You, you feel me to fuck the what? Why you acting back? What? You following me to the station? Huh? What you call the station right now? What's your problem? What's your me? problem? No, what is your What's problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? You gonna call the station? Go ahead. Yo. Is crazy because she said something super. Well, I know it's Canada because that lady's trying to help her along. There's right, no way right. in America anybody would ever She's do like, that. Oh, keep it a moving, eh? Like, this lady is crazy.
All right, if I was to analyze this final clip, Andrew, this lady who apparently is part super Canadian, like provincial, like, oh, yeah, you look like a hooker, eh? Why are you recording a hooker? He's recording herself, eh? And then all of a sudden switches into a 1977 NYPD officer when you're like, hey, you want to take it to the station? Yeah, yeah, yeah Bugsy. Yeah, we're going to call Bugsy Malone and we take it to the station. So I was like, yo, is that... I guess Canada really is a mishmash of cultures. Do you, do you think this has anything to do with like the infantilization of Asian people? Meaning that a lot of people view Asians to be younger or look younger or be more like kid-like. So then you kind of talk down on them like kids, even though that they're like kind of clearly adults. Yeah, I think that obviously it's not 100% of all Asians. If you are really tall, buff, tatted Asian with full yeah. sleeves who looks like you would play a triad or something like that in a movie, you can totally avoid this. And to be honest, and this is like a little bit of a deviation, Andrew, I think that's actually why a lot of Asian guys take on that identity, whether or not they're actually in the triad world or not. Overall, Andrew, my major takeaways are this. Um, if these live streamers are out in public with the camera on, right, and obviously this is being disseminated out to the world, mm. you can only imagine how many microaggressions that people go through that are not documented. Yeah, Because I've heard it all the time on the streets of New York, everything from ni hao shi shi ni to go back to China to F you chink or to like go eat dogs or go eat rice yeah, or yeah, look at yeah. your slanted eye, blah, 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 blah. I've heard all these things, but since I'm not a live streamer and I don't have my phone out at all moments, it wasn't recorded. So, I mean, I guess it just shows you a fraction of what people potentially have been through. And I think that um, every Asian, to be honest, deals with microaggressions differently. Like you said, some people come over here, Andrew, and they understand in or, or, or they build in a level that they're expecting and then some people kind of buy into the fact that it should never happen and then they're extra hurt so i think that uh people do have different baseline expectations right based on what you've been raised and people around you have been through my overall takeaway is a couple things one i do think it sucks that sometimes just having an asian face and and doing your thing out in pub public whether that's filming like us filming our food videos or streaming uh for some reason it draws attention and is apparently a trigger to especially mentally ill or drunk people and i think it's very sad but it is something that as asians we have to acknowledge that in the big cities around a lot of people uh this might happen you know and you know just to let the streamers know be bold be courageous keep streaming um i don't think it's wrong i do think that where you're in the city you have to be ready for some interactions so just have a protocol for when this type of stuff happens me and david we've talked about our protocol because we've been through it before some dude tried to steal our dslr before out in new york city yeah. and we were threatened by that and it was just like i mean we've had that uh, something similar happen a couple times so i'm just telling you like yeah, you, you, you got to be tough and you got to be aware and, and just be ready for these types of things. Yeah, and I think that these microaggressions or, you know, they can spiral into macroaggressions. Luckily, none of these did, but they can potentially. The final thing I will say is that clearly a lot of these people, Andrew, deep down, whether they were drunk on uh, the influence of different substances, potentially drugs, um, they still knew they were being wrong. Yeah. Because when you shove a camera in their face, they still go, oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, oh, no. Now they sober up. Yeah, once you let them know, hey, your face is going to be out there on the internet, then they're like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, well, clearly uh, they, they felt like they knew they had a negative impulse, but they scratched it anyway. But once the camera comes on them, very, uh, I would say like eight out of 10 people are going to back down or try to flee. Dude. Anyways, guys, uh, this is going to happen more, but uh, yeah, we just wanted to cover it because these were a lot of viral clips from Twitch. And uh, please let us know in the comments down below what you think. Like I said, guys, I think that racism and microaggressions sort of rank on a scale of like one to 10. Uh, you decide where your threshold is at. Let us know in the comment section below what you find offensive and what you do not. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.